Hey there, third grade. Let's go ahead and do our visual drill today. Um, so pay very, very, very close attention to each sound that um, we are gonna read together. Um, and I might give you some extra information that might benefit you guys as a Badger Time group. So please pay close attention to this video and follow along with me. All right, here we go. So as I point, I want you to say the sounds along with me. E, like E, remember this is a magic E. Um, the magic E makes the vowel say its name. So it's E, like Eve. I, like type. A, like uh, ape. I, like time. O, like home. This one has two sounds. It says U and oo, like blue and tune. U, oo. Now I just want the short sounds. E, I, a, a, a. R, right. Z. Sorry, my card. These cards are hard to flip today. K. <sighs> Two sounds here. We have th like thumb, and th like father or the. So th and th. Th. What's the rule about V? No English word ends in V, always followed by a silent E. W. Qua. Q is always followed by U. There's an H, brother. W, like whistle. Ooh, PH. PH makes its own unique sound. It makes the th sound like phone, like I'm on my cell phone. Shh. J. What's the rule about J? No English word ends in J. Okay, we have other ways to make that J sound at the end of a word. S and Z. Remember, S can make that S or Z sound, that Z sound between two vowels, like nose, K, and S, like city. Three sounds here. We have Y, I, E, O. Okay, I'm gonna use my B checker. Oh, I see that bubble. It's a B, so it says B. R. Ch, like chair. Ink, like think or sink. Ink. Ing. Ing. ING says ing, and I'm glad we're here because here is the secret word for the day. All right, so you guys have your little pieces of paper with you, right? You should have a pencil. So this is our word for today that you need to keep top secret. Do not tell anyone. Um, when you write this down, I just want you to keep it to yourself. Um, and when you um, are done with this video, then you can hand it to me at my table, okay? So here is our word for today. The word is jumping. So this ing is acting as a suffix. Remember, a suffix is at the end of a word. It's a letter or letters at the end of a word that slightly alters the meaning. The base word is jump, j, uh, m, p, jump. And with ing, it says jumping. Now I made the u red to um, indicate a short vowel sound. It's gonna say uh, j, uh, m, p, ing, okay, jumping. Go ahead and jot this down on your piece of paper. And when you are done with this video, walk it quietly up to my table and hand it to me, okay? But keep it to yourself. Do not say it. Tell anybody what the word is. 
we have ing, a, o, a, a. Three sounds here. We have a, u, u, i, i, e, i. Okay, I and K makes its own unique sound. It's going to say ink, like sink. Ang, like fang or hang. Two sounds here, we have g and j. Ooh, this is a floss rule. Remember what, when we see the double consonant, like a double L at the end, the rule is at the end of, at the end of a one syllable word. After one short vowel, ooh is spelled L-L, -L, like hill. So if you look at the back of here, hill is one syllable and it has a short vowel sound i. Okay, sorry about my cat walking by. All right, um, Simon's just getting in the way. Simon, move. All right, so we have i. <laughs> sorry about his tail. Oh my gosh. All right, it says i, like um, itch, so hill. A few more. K. All right, remember the rule is at the end of a one syllable word after one short vowel, k is spelled C K. The keyword is duck. Another floss rule at the end of a one syllable word after one short vowel is spelled F F like off. D. Mm. Another floss rule at the end of a one syllable word after one short vowel is spelled S S. Mm. J. At the end of a one syllable word after one short vowel, j is spelled D G E. And the keyword here is bridge. A few more here. X. Z. At the end of a one syllable word after one short vowel, z is spelled V Z, like fuzz. A couple more. T C H says. Ch. At the end of a one syllable word, after one short vowel, ch is spelled T C H. And that's it. All right, guys, great job following along with me. Hopefully, you were um, saying the sounds along with me as we were doing that video. And hopefully, you caught that um, secret um, word and you wrote it down in your paper. If not, you can um, rewind the video um, back to that spot um, and write it down quickly. Um, and then once you're done here, please quietly walk up to my table. Don't interrupt my group, but walk up to my table and just quietly hand it to me. All right. Great job, guys.